like most people, after a long day, all I want to do is kick back, relax, and listen to the sound of my own heartbeat. But sometimes I just want to jazz it up a bit. You know? Totally. So, in order to sufficiently jazz it up a bit, I will use my pulse to control the light of four LED strips. These are five meters long a piece with 30 LEDs per meter. I figure 600 LEDs strewn about my living room should be enough visual accompaniment. In the audio department, I will trigger a sound sample to play back at each heartbeat and run that through my stereo. I think all together, that should be enough. This little pulse sensor will detect changing levels of oxygen in my blood and send them as an analog signal over to this Feather M0 microcontroller board. At each heartbeat, the code running on my Feather will output a PWM signal, which I'll use to control the LED strips. To generate sound, I'll attach this Feather music wing which will be triggered by the Feather M0 to play an audio sample stored on an SD card at each heartbeat. I'll use the Feather's prototyping area to add a terminal block for connecting ground and PWM signals to the LED strips. And I'll also add a small slide switch which will allow me to keep the lights and sound turned off until I have a steady pulse detected by the Feather. Once the feather is programmed, I can move on to making the driver boards for the LED strips. The feather's PWM signal is far too weak to power one of these LED strips alone, so we'll need a sensitive transistor like this N-channel MOSFET which will allow the small 3.3 volt PWM signal to quickly switch the LED strip's 12 volt power on and off and create a fading effect. I'll mount the MOSFET on a quarter size proto board along with a terminal block, DC jack, and 10K pull down resistor for the MOSFET's gate pin. It's important to keep in mind that MOSFETs are sensitive creatures and can be damaged when the gate pin is left disconnected or floating. So I'll make sure that the feather is connected before applying power to the driver board. I'll only be using the red channel of the RGB LED strips, so one of these boards will be able to power two strips simultaneously. I'll be using four strips total, so I made two boards. And of course, to connect everything, I will need a whole lot of wire. All right, so let's go wire it up. Cross your fingers. Throw salt over your shoulder, knock on wood. Okay, the lights are installed. And now all we have to do 
is hook up the audio to the stereo. Yep. And put on the pulse sensor. Once we've got a steady pulse being displayed on the Feather's built-in LED, then we're ready to go. Computer, turn lights off. That's a little more evil disco than I was planning on. Brings some new meaning to the term living room, but I could get down with it. Yep, that'll do.